you just hit your bottle like that and he would just tear that monkey tallywhacker up. <laughs> and he was sitting on a donkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Baskets started as just a goofy clown story, but now it's kind of a goofy clown family story. You think people will think of me as a rodeo owner and the rest of Oh my god. Is that part of your act? It might I might incorporate it. We left off season two right here at the rodeo. Christine Baskets buys the rodeo that Chip formerly worked at. It's her way of kind of saving her son. He's lost. Baskets, family, rodeo. Oh, God. Season two was a lot more about the inner workings of a family business, which complicates things. Family and money and working together can be a terrible situation. You're suing me. Yeah, mother. I'm suing the person that I came out of. Christine hardly understands her sons, but she's willing to sacrifice her inheritance. If this will make Chip and Dale happy to make her life and her family's life better. You're the only person I know who's been on the news, Mrs. Baskets. Thank you. Well, it's all been a whirlwind ever since I bought the rodeo. In season three, when the Baskets family takes over the rodeo, you just get to see all of the funniest elements of the relationship between Chip and Dale and Christine. Chip is trying to just kind of be the liaison between the family and the rodeo community. That doesn't pan out too well. <laughs> the rodeo staff also does not like Dale, but who does? Well, I'll tell you this, pal. I am not going to leave empty-handed, that's for sure. Some of the problems this year in the rodeo are really simple. Who knows how to buy horses? I don't know if Dale knows anything about horses. I don't know if anybody's ever even ridden a horse. Baskets tries to take a group of people who are all trying to get somewhere, and you get to see them struggle, you get to see them succeed, you get to see them live, die, twirl. The tone is really absurd and ridiculous humor. Working with Jonathan and Zach and Louis was very difficult not to break character and laugh. It's really fun to work with them. To work on the set is like everybody's contributing and everything's a little pot that we stir and just let it explode. It's such a bizarre little show. I mean, it's just really adults pretending and giggling at work. So tune in, watch it, and if you don't, I'm gonna send Christine over. Oh, Pat! Yeah, oh! Oh! Sorry, babe.